Hey YouTube, it's a guitar player 112 here, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Middle Earth Shadow of War. In the last episode, we managed to beat the uh, main story mode in the, uh, you know, in Shadow of War. And in this video, we are going to start playing the story expansions, um, starting with the uh, Blade of Galadriel. And once I'm done with this, I will. Uh, uh, play uh, bleh, play the Desolation Mordor story next. So, but for now, like I said, we're going to start with the Blade of Galadriel. So let's do this. Normal. Oh uh, yeah, and everything. Let's see this. Easy, normal, Nemesis, Gravewalker, and brutal. Uh, I'm going to keep it on normal. It's because I don't want it to be too easy, but not too difficult either. So, let's start this up. Let's play Blade of Galadriel. <laughs> so, I have played a little bit of the Blade of Galadriel. I made it towards the end, but sadly, like I said in my uh, Dead Rising update video, I did lose all my data for all the games I had on my PS4, including this one. So, <laughs> don't uh, don't remember much. And I haven't played the uh, Desolation Mordor story expansion yet. But I will in this Let's Play. To, to cut off her fingers. I failed you. I stood with Celebrimba. I wore his ring. And we failed to defeat the Dark Lord. The Dark Lord and the Bright Lord are one. A flaming eye above Barad-dor. But I sent you to Mordor for the Nazgul. And your work is unfinished. Look to Minas Morgul and the Nazgul who dwells within it. You know the one of whom I speak. He died. I took nope. the new ring and left him to die. He now wears the ring of Isildur. He belongs to the Dark Lord. It falls to you. My lady, I cannot. Let me come home. You will wear the new ring. You will finish what you started. Then you may return home. It will be done. Well, that's probably the closest thing she's going to get to prosthetic fingers.
Lich King gone. End of an era. Some special attacks infuse enemies with light. Hold circle to use the cone of light to infuse enemies with light and wide area in, in a wide area in front of you. Press circle to throw a light bolt at your nearest enemy to infuse them with light and knocking them back. Hmm. My light will be there. So, yeah, that's one thing I like about this, is that I can actually blind uh, the orcs with the, uh... Ooh, Elven Light. Which is awesome. <laughs> there we go. Radiance. You've been injured. My light. And I can actually heal myself using that. <laughs> so all I have to do is just basically uh, get to the uh, Great Hall of Minas Morgul. First, I am going to blind 12 Uruks just to get that uh, uh, bonus objective. Okay, well, this isn't working. <laughs> okay, screw this. <laughs> or... There we go. Because now I am already low on health. <laughs> Come on, jump! Is there no area for me to jump? <laughs> uh, okay, I do want to heal myself up real quick. It's a filthy L! Don't come near me, I'll flash you. <laughs> I know that sounds wrong, but... <laughs> okay, I just need two more... This feels very familiar. What was that noise? Jeez, I blinded all of them. <laughs> Go get out of my way. Okay, let's see what Talion is doing. Or how he's doing. Defeat the Great Hall Guards. Okay, well, let's start things off with me brutalizing this guy. Jeez, he got, he's got a lot of shield bearers. Okay, well that didn't help out that much. Okay, get rid of all the freaking shield bears first. Because they're gonna be nothing but a pain. Okay, all other enemies should be easy for me. Oh, there's still one shield bearer left. Let me take care of you. Okay, so I got my executions. All of, all of, all other of these enemies should be easy for me to kill. So the Blade of Galadriel isn't 
from what I remember, it isn't too long, but still quite a bit. <laughs> Healing myself up. Okay, let's see how Talion, Talion is doing. He is changed. He belongs to the Dark Lord. Your time has come, Nazgul. You will not kill me again. <laughs> oh, now I have to fight him. <laughs> Calabrembo deceived you as he deceived me. <laughs> Oh, heck, he's already been a tough guy, isn't he? I was sent here to kill you. That will not happen. Fuck, now he's got execute his own executions. Fuck. Fuck! Jeez! Now he's throwing shit at me. What? Yes, I know how the last chances work. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well. Shit, I only made a little bit of damage to him already. Jeez, he is... I barely made a dent in his health. And he already downed me. Jeez! Wait, where'd he go? Because I am all out of arrows. Okay, at least I'm doing some damage to him. Not a whole lot, but... Compared to him, it's nothing. Shit! Retry. This is ridiculous how he deals so much damage yet I deal hardly any damage to him. Okay, just dodge all of his attacks. Just hit, hit, dodge. Hit, hit, dodge. <laughs> Doing okay, I'm doing okay so far. Great, I was at full might and he pretty much cancelled that out. I was sent here to kill you. That will not happen. 
Execution. There we go. At least, I'm at least I'm learning how to dodge his attacks better. <laughs> I know all of his tricks now. Most of them anyway. Look at that, I only made like a, a like a quarter of a damage to him. Okay, where is he teleporting now? You serve Sauron. I serve Middle Earth. Okay. Well, shit, he's already doing a ton of damage to me already. Yes, I know how the last chances work. I don't need a frickin' tutorial. Go. Doing okay. Put down half of his health already. Okay, die. I know I can't die because he's a nuts cool, but still. <laughs> Sildur's ring, but I am not yet a Nazgul. Shelob saw the future that has come to pass. She saw the great eye of Baradur. And she also saw the need for a counterbalance. Are you that counterbalance? No. We are. I was sent here to kill you. You once told me that in the war against darkness, stalemate is victory. Do you still believe that? I believe Mordor and the Nazgul must be contained. But how long can you fight this war before you fall and join them? I don't know. So perhaps you should stay close. Come. Look. After the Witch King's fall, an attack commenced against multiple fortresses. And by who? That is what we need to find out. As one power falls, another one rises. That is the way of Mordor. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm enjoying this so far, despite that frustrating first battle. <laughs>
So, all we have to do now is just wait till the next one. This fort would not withstand an attack of ghouls. It's not the ghouls that concern me. My lordship. Attacks have commenced against the other forts. We must prepare. Uh, this is unfortunate. If attack now, we will fall. What has happened? Azram's departed a week ago to avenge his blood brother. He took his drakes with him. We have not heard from him since yesterday. Thrak was poisoned. He confronted Ahisu, who denied responsibility. <laughs> Thrak, perhaps deranged by poison, stabbed Ahisu, who then bled to death. It's a wonder you've been able to hold the fort as long as you have. We won't hold it at all without reinforcements. Oh, uh, I may know a few orcs who could provide the defenses we need. They are unique. Very well. I must attend to the fortress in Saragost. Saragost? Whereas you now wear the ring. I will not dominate these orcs. But I will bring them back. One way or another. This should be interesting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The state of perpetual war. Help Talion defend, defend his fortresses and reconquer those that fall. You will need to recruit allies in your battles against the Lord of Mordor. Some orcs will join your cause if you aid them with, in theirs. You only get one chance to recruit each of these orcs. Gear up for battle. Throughout Mordor, uh, roving warbands are launching invasions of their own. Yeah, so... So now I have you wait. He falls further into darkness. You sent me to kill Nazgul. I will do what is needed when the time comes. So anyway guys, I guess that's pretty much all I'll do for right now. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of my Let's Play for Shadow of War with the Blade of Gladriel expansion. And as always, have a good day.